Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Sutty Live. Creating video for YouTube is a massive part of content creation, whether you're a live streamer or not. So this morning, what I wanted to do is share with you a, uh, a little tip around how you can literally save yourself hours when it comes to creating clips. So if, like a lot of streamers, you're using OBS to create your content, there are two ways that you're going to get video footage out of your stream. You're either going to have an entire recording of the whole presentation, or you're going to be taking shots from your replay buffer and then trying to use those. The problem with both of these options is that they're never exactly what you need, and you need to do some editing. You need to do some trimming. You might need to do some audio cutting. The problem this presents is that for, in order for you to be able to cut that video down to the size that you want it to, you generally have to re-encode the video again. And even re-encoding a couple of minutes of footage can actually cost you lots and lots of time. So what I'm going to show you is a tool called Lossless Cut, which basically takes your existing video, allows you to trim it, maybe even pull multiple clips out of the same piece of footage, and then save them almost immediately using exactly the same quality that you've recorded it. So this is the recording tab from the output settings inside OBS. And the only setting that I care about on this screen is that you set the keyframe interval to one second. And you'll see why in a moment. Once you've got lossless cuts open, all you need to do is drag your video file into the open window and it'll load. Once it's loaded, across the bottom you'll see the purple area. This is the size of your current clip, so if you were to export it now you'd get the full thing. You'll notice that the lines across the bottom represent the keyframes. We're going to be using the keyframe cut option which is why it's important that you set your keyframe at one second. It gives you a lot more control of where you want your clip to start and end from. By cycling through the keyframes, you can basically choose the exact start and the exact finish for where you want your clip. Pick the starting keyframe. Make sure you're happy with it. And then set it as the start. Play the clip through. Once you've got the last frame where you want your clip to end, select the right keyframe. and then set the end of your clip. This purple area now represents the entirety of your clip and it is possible to create multiple clips from one video. Once you are happy with that, all you need to do is hit the export button. This will almost instantly cut the clip that you've chosen into its own video, which when you play it back, will have exactly the start and end points that you were looking for. This file is now ready to throw up on socials, you could put it on YouTube, it's done, it's finished. Right, so there we go, editing videos with no re-encoding and no time wasted. Hopefully that's been useful, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, and please, please, please remember, hit the sub button, hit the like button, let me know if you like this video. Take it easy guys, see you on the next one, bye bye.